Hi everyone, how's it going? Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is Madison. I'm super excited today because I have a gigantic bag of Rudy's Barbecue. So yeah, I also have their sweet tea with a whole bunch of ice in it because sweet tea needs to be like freezing cold. I'm going to take my glasses off so that the um, sun is not, I mean, there's, it's not really sun, but my glasses have that glare. I got so much stuff, like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I woke up and I was like, I need barbecue. So, um, like, I'm like starving right now. It's like, it was like nine in the morning when I decided I need a barbecue. Um, I'm like starving. I worked yesterday. I didn't eat that much, like, later in the day. So I think my body's like, dude, you need more protein. What are you doing? And um, I haven't really been here before, so I just decided to get all kinds of stuff. They actually gave me jalapenos, even though I didn't request those. Um, so I will give those to Brandon. Okay, so I'm going to start telling you guys what I got as I'm pulling it out. So I got their creamed corn, um, which I just tried for the first time. I've never had creamed corn before. I just tried it for the first time um, at work the other day because they actually bought Rudy's. i never been here. I told the lady that, and I think she thought that I was from, like, California or something, because um, I told her that I woke up this morning wanting barbecue, and she was like, yeah, um, like, it's good to be in a state that you can, like, do that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, it felt like she was, like, mad at me. I was like, <laughs> um, and then I got some of their beans. Their beans are really good. I really like their beans. Um, so they have two kinds of sauces. One is a sissy sauce that has a yellow label and then one is uh the original sauce and they spell sauce like with an s instead of a c um just for anybody who is about to go there um and then i got like all kinds of meat to try because so okay so they at my work whenever they bought it they just bought regular brisket and smoked turkey smoked turkey was pretty good Regular brisket was so dry. I don't know how anybody eat that. It was almost beef jerky. I'm like, why, are you, why, who wants to eat brisket like this? Like, this is not, like, when I think brisket, that's not what I think of. I don't think dry meat. I think juicy. Like, you squeeze it, it's kind of juicy. Oh, so good. Um, like, brisket does not need to be dry. Um, and then I also got some bread in case I need it, which I don't think I will. I got a whole pulled pork sandwich, half of a link of sausage. Um, some baby back ribs to try. They didn't have baby rack ribs whenever we, um, were at work. Probably because, you know, they can't buy us everything. My work buys us food all the time, though, which is really cool. Um, I got brisket, but I got the moist one. So let's see how their moist is. Um, and then I got some more of the smoked turkey because I really did like the flavor of it. Um, so let me go ahead and put my straw in my sweet tea. Nothing like the first, like, food going into your mouth being sweet tea. Are you from Texas or what? Are you from the south? Oh, diabetes. My diabetes. They gave you all this stuff, but like they don't, I guess they don't have like regular napkins. Um, they just have the napkins that come in here, which is totally fine, whatever. Okay, I'm super excited, I'm so hungry. <laughs> um, so, what do I wanna try first? So let me go ahead and get into the moist brisket. I feel like that will be exciting. Let's have a little looky look. Ooh, yeah, it's looking really nice. I'm excited about this. I know I keep saying that, but I am honestly just so excited. So this is the moist brisket. It looks way better than the regular. So you can see here, nice and juicy. I'm gonna try to be double filming today. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm 
me get into some of their creamed corn. This has got to be one of the worst things that you could ever put in your body. <laughs> like, I don't know, but like it's, it has to be, but it's so good. Mm. I'm sure a lot of you are like creamed corn. That sounds weird. I thought the same thing for a very long time. Um, but it's just corn with, I guess, like cream um, into like a thick sauce. And so it's kind of, it's like the epitome. The sauce is like the sweetest corn you've ever had. It's super nice. It's like very refreshing in my opinion. Mm. Man, that brisket is good. Okay. Let's check out a rib. These are looking right. They wrap them in, it uh, looks like wax paper, and then they also have like their thicker wax paper, and it has like juice right there. The ribs are looking smackalicious. So these are definitely looking promising. They look very juicy. <clears throat> I'm like choking on myself right now. Mm. These are good. And I just got a quarter pound of some meat just to try them out, see what's good. I've always avoided Rudy's because I don't really like their barbecue sauce. And I had their dry ass brisket years ago. They shouldn't even sell that. Like, it literally kept me from going to their business for years, years. And these are actually really good. They have a nice smoke to them. It's still like a commercial barbecue place. Like, it's a chain. So it's not perfect, but it's really good. And these aren't that expensive. Let me see. I think they're like $4. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see shit. Yep. Okay. So two of them is a quarter pound. It was four twenty-five. dollars Not bad. Ribs are really expensive to make at home too. I was wanting to do that. And I looked at it. I was like, oh my God. So let's try the sauce. Has a good thickness. Lots of pepper. Mm, oopsies. Kind of spicy. Like just a little bit like Hits of pepper in the back. Ah, sweet tea. Let's get into these beans. 
beans like this are just way too good for their for their own. Now I do like barbecue sauce and beans. Never done that. You need to because it's delicious. So here's the beans. And these are great. Just like a standard baked bean, but when they sit in the fridge for a day and you eat them the next day, they get super thick. Because of that bean liquor. Let's see what's up with this pulled pork sandwich, right? This wasn't a bad cost either. I think it was like seven, seven, seven or eight bucks. That's pretty hefty. It's definitely hefty. Wow. Look at that. It's pretty thick. Looking nice. All right, I got you guys a close up. <laughs> It's solid. There's like a big piece of meat right here that I'm gonna take out. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Let's see what it's like in the... Texture's good. I'm not sure that I like their barbecue sauce with their pulled pork. A more vinegary sauce would be really nice with this. Um, my favorite, my favorite barbecue sauce like ever is the, um, this one in Huntsville from McKenzie's. Theirs is like great. It would be perfect for this. See how this is. This is the um, sissy sauce. There's something about their barbecue sauce. I, I guess maybe it's just. Mm. I love this bread. I don't know if this is a brioche bun or what. This is really nice. That's hefty. That's definitely worth the cost. If you're like working, you come over here, you just want to get some food real quick. That would get you right. For sure. Like 100%. Let's say it's Wednesday, you get paid on Thursday. <laughs> Where did I put that sausage link? Oh, there it is. All right, I'm going to show you guys the turkey. I tasted the turkey already um, from a different... It was a different location that they went to. I think there's like four locations in Austin. It's just nice. It's just smoked turkey. You just, you get that nice like turkey flavor. You know, turkey and chicken are so often um, compared to each other because they're both po poultry. But a turkey and a chicken, I mean, tastes completely different. I will say the one that I had at the other location was a little bit better. And the way this um, tastes, it kind of seems like they made it yesterday. But I don't know what their practices are, so.
I'm trying all this other stuff, but all I can think about is that rib. I love, I love pork. It's like, not really good for you <laughs> at all, <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, here's the sausage link. I mean... I didn't know how much I love sausage until... Um... I had it like smoked from a friend's man. I do wish that they didn't cut it this way. I know why they do it, but I like doing that like snap through the whole thing. Now, what do I think about the restaurant in its entirety? I feel that it is a chain, and you can tell. They do make all their food, like, in each store. Except the barbecue sauce, obviously. I feel like the prices are fair, like, just in my opinion. Each one of the quarter pound, um, I'm basing this on Austin pricing, like, just in general, like, just things that I buy, what I would be expecting. I feel like it pretty much makes sense. The um, all the quarter pound um, meats were like four bucks, which makes sense. Man, And I forgot to look, but I do believe this is a Texas restaurant. I don't know if it originated in Austin. I honestly forgot to look. What would I order again? Cream corn. Beans. Which, they don't have mac and cheese here. It's really weird. Um... I don't like the way they cut their sausage links, so I probably wouldn't order that again. I know that seems petty, but I'm not even meaning it in a mean way. Um, unless I was just getting one to maybe put into a piece of bread. That would be good. I honestly got that bread so I could take it to work. I would try the turkey again from a different location, maybe at a different time of day. Um, the moist brisket, I would order that again. That pulled pork sandwich, I would definitely order again. This place is cool too because it's not just a barbecue place. It's a gas station, a little store where you can buy some stuff. Like, um, it's kind of like a small Bucky's in a way. Um, they have breakfast burrito. Where are you, moist brisket? I have like so much stuff stacked right here. I like their ordering process online. It's very, very easy. Very clean way of ordering. 
easy to check out, not a whole bunch of hoopla. So I really like their website, it's really easy. Picking up was a little weird. I went inside um, and I'd seen like this note on the door and it was, it, it wasn't just a note, it was like a printed sign that Rudy's makes. And it said, um, pick up and curbside orders like go to the gazebo. I'm like, the gazebo? First of all, what if I don't know what a gazebo is? <laughs> like, is that like a common thing? Like everybody knows what a gazebo is? Um, I mean, I know what one is, I'm just saying. So I went inside, I was like, hey, I saw the note, like I can't pick up my order inside. Like, like I didn't say it like that, but I was like, <clears throat> excuse me. I was like, hey, like I saw the note on the door, like um, I never been here before. She was like, yeah, you just go around to the side and like call and then they bring you your order and I'm like but I'm inside and why doesn't it just say that on the website that is one thing that I'm like if this is a thing then why doesn't it say it like um, when you finish your order you know because it just says like go pick up your order and then she was like or you can walk to the gazebo like the little red part um, and there's like a phone right there where you call. I'm like, this is pretty weird. Um, but she was like, since you're already inside, like I'll go ahead and give you order here. I'm like, okay. But I don't know, I couldn't tell if she hated me or not. I'm like, I'm not trying to get hated. Like, I promise I'm not from California if that's what you think. Like, I don't think anything really bad about Californians in general, but people here freaking hate them. Like, oh my god, it's crazy. Like, they'll talk like so much stuff about them, like, so easily. It's wild. Like, there are some things that Californians do that are kind of like annoying because it's like different from what we do here. But, I mean, everybody's different, you know? <laughs> but they're like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> um, all right. Um, I ate a lot of this food. I'm going to save the rest of it because, I mean, that's what I plan to do anyways. Like, I couldn't just eat all of this. Oh, my gosh. Um, the bread is probably not going to be good anymore on the sandwich. Um, so, I'll just end up, like, eating that in a different way. Um, overall score on this place, like if I was doing it like out of 10, um, overall, I would say a seven just because like it was kind of weird, like going in there and grabbing my order, like that part was kind of weird. Um, but I do like their drink station because you're able to fill up your own drink. Um, this is a reusable cup if you get a large. Um, and this, this drink was like 260 something, which that's pretty normal. So, um, makes sense, but at least it's a reusable cup. So you're getting a cup out of it, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I really like that you can fill up your own drink because tea, like the ice that goes in tea is like very, it's very particular. Like there's a certain amount of ice that needs to go in a tea. Um, so I like that you can do it yourself. Um, but yeah, so I'd say a seven, um, cause if I think about barbecue, I still like this is not where I'm like oh like I want to go there it was this morning because it's been the most recent in my mind but I'm still searching for like something more you know um, I wish that uh, so L my friend that got me the mocajete in Mexico he has a cousin named Martin and Martin makes some really good pork ribs like oh my gosh that's where I'd had them before like he gets like the big ones um I mean I guess I'm pretty sure they're pork ribs they taste like pork um yeah they're just not baby backs okay yeah they're pork ribs just not baby backs um and those suckers are freaking good like he should just sell those out of a truck do nothing else but sell those like they are so good oh my gosh um Elle took a video of me uh, a few years ago at a party um, that we had there, I guess like four years ago now, um, where I was like eating one of the ribs and like dancing to a Cardi B song. <laughs> that was when, it was whenever Cardi B was like 
first kind of like coming out and everything so I guess it must have been excuse me I guess maybe 2000 what was that 2018 2019 what year are we in it must have been like 2018 anyways <laughs> I'm like drawing out the end of this um but yeah so I will be eating all the leftovers I'm probably gonna make that turkey into something else because it doesn't really taste good by itself this time it did taste good the last time that I had it though um but yeah, so if you guys have a great day or night, wherever you are, let me know what you think down below. If there is a restaurant in Austin that you'd like me to try, just tell me and I will go there. Probably. Maybe. You never know. Um, but yeah, anyways, bye guys.